Are we good? We're good, we're good. Hi! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and today we have a homeware thrift haul. I'm super, super excited about this because I'm about to move apartments, so I'm gonna be in a completely new space and I'm gonna go all out. I'm allowed to paint, I'm allowed to hang things up on the wall as long as I can return it back to its original form, which I have never had in an apartment complex. There's always like tons of rules and tons of things you can and can't do, but for the apartment I'm moving into, they're pretty open as long as you can return it to its original form. So I'm super, super excited to have like a moving vlog and then I'm gonna have my home office makeover, my living room makeover. It's a studio, so it's gonna be like my living room and bedroom kind of in one, but they will be separate areas obviously. And my kitchen has these huge ceilings, but anyway, today is just some of the decor that I found. I'm going for, I took the Mr. Kate test home test or whatever, home style, and I came out with majority mid-century and boho. So it was mid-century boho, industrial, eclectic. That was five, I only named four. And those were like my main ones. So a lot of the home decor I have is very mid-century. So let's go ahead and hop in. I'm really excited for y'all to see the pieces and I will be DIYing some of these things. So I'll have a separate video for that just because DIYing before a week before I move is kind of just bad news. It would be a mess in here and I already packed up my acrylic paints. So, and I also don't have the paint yet that I'm painting the walls of my apartment. Once I have those, I'll have all of my DIYs up uh, for my new space. So let's go ahead and get into the home decor portion of this video. Let's go. The first thing I wanna show you guys, I am DIYing a bar cart and, cause I have a little cart that I have my like, you'll see in my new space, but right now I have this little cart in a corner where I kind of make smoothies and tea and stuff like that, but I won't have space for that in my new place, so I'm gonna convert it into a bar cart and kind of put it in the corner in my living room. And I found these in Salvation Army. Yeah, no, 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 did I find these? Yeah, I found these in Salvation Army. They're these little glasses. I got three of them. They only had three. If they had more, I would have bought probably two more to make five. It was a dollar each. And they're just these clear, you know, little um, cocktail-y, what goes in here? Does anyone know what goes in here? Um, definitely a cute, cute drink, like a pink drink or something, <laughs> I don't know. But I'm definitely gonna up my bartender game. These are super cute, I'm just gonna sit them. I have a few inspiration photos that I can include on how I kind of wanna set up my bar cart. But I thought these were so cute. They're very kind of old timey, but sleek. I really loved that. And clear is kind of the glassware idea that I wanna go for. Next, I found these tins. I found, it was a set of four for $2.99. So they're just these metal tins. And basically what I intend to use these for are my condiments. So whenever I have a dinner party, or I invite my parents over or friends over, and we have like a taco night or something, of that nature, I can put lettuce, guacamole, sour cream, some pico, some salsa, things like that can go in there. I honestly wish they had more. Even four more of these, I would have just bought all of them. I love them, they're so cute. And especially since you know I have industrial in my kind of design style, I thought that these would be really, really cute for dressing a table when I have company or something like that. It's pretty rare. I, I, I've just gotten comfortable with having people in my space in my apartment again, so hopefully I'll get some good use out of these. Maybe I'm the only one. Am I the only person who just is really uncomfortable with having people in my space? I feel like my space is almost disrupted. My house is my calm area where I kind of release and just relax and I'm 1000% myself. And having someone in that space makes me feel like I get a little bit farther away from that. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird and that's just me, but. Oh, I probably should have also explained my color scheme. I'm so sorry. So my color scheme is orange, navy blue, yellow, um, and like greenery as in plants, and then woods. I also have a dark, almost charcoal gray mixed in there because I already have a bed that has that color. So I'm kind of including it. I'll show you where I got the inspiration for those colors. It was some random picture on Pinterest and I was like, I want all those colors. They even had the wood and the plant. So I was like, this is perfect. This is what I'm going for in my apartment. And I also, oh my God, I'm so, I'm like, I'm interrupting myself, but also I, 
spent a day kind of designing my space on Picolage and I can put up a picture here of what that looks like. And I just added Mr. Kate and she reposted it on her story and she said great colors and I about died. I have been doing nothing but binging Mr. Kate videos on YouTube. That has been like my go-to. I want to watch room makeovers. I want to see Mr. Kate. She's so cute. Mooney. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I got these two tin cans. Um, it was $1.99 for this one and then $1.99 also for this one, which is funny because they're two different sizes, but I mean, it's a thrift store. It's totally like sometimes I look at the prices and I don't understand like how is this $1.99 and this is $1.99. They're not the exact same. So, but um, I'm happy to pay for it. These are actually from Ikea. Wow, these are from Ikea. I actually really like these. So I'm planning to just kind of have them on display. I also thought maybe I could put this on my bar cart. What do you guys think? Bar cart or kitchen shelving? I'm leaning towards kitchen shelving just because I do have like a clear, I want like a clear looking bar cart, but I think these are really cute. Okay, so the next thing I jumped into were books. I got so many books and what I did was I kind of went through for 30 minutes on the book aisle and I just unwrapped the book in the front, checked out the spine, put it back, put it back on the shelf if I didn't like it. I started leaning a lot towards, oh my God. I started leaning a lot towards gold lettering. So I think, I'm thinking of mixed metals, but I think for the book spine, I just preferred how gold lettering looked. I think that is so pretty. Just sat on a bookshelf with like a little plant on top and like maybe rest my glasses, you know? I think it could be really cute. So I love this. Always check the spine of books in the book aisle. Even if you don't wanna read them, check the spine. I randomly picked up two actual kitchen items. So this is, I think, what I think this is. I got this for, oh, the books were varied in price, by the way. I took the covers off so I don't have how much each one was worth. So this is a cake pan, and it's the kind where you use this latch so it perfectly molds to it, and then instead of flipping it and having to do it that way, you just unlatch it and un like, let me just show you. Oh my God. I am obviously doing this the worst way possible. And then it just comes, it just pops out like that. This was a small, tiny little colander. It's called a colander, right? This was $3.99, which this was $3 and this was $3.99. I am convinced that they just think of prices and slap them on. Like they don't actually look at what they have in their inventory and how it's priced and then price things accordingly. They're just like, it looks like $3. You know, I feel like that's what they do at my thrift store. I don't know. This little colander, I honestly needed to buy one and I was debating what kind I wanted and then I saw this for $3.99 and I was like, let's just get a tiny one. Why not? It's very simple, I but I found it there and I thought I should include it. It's really small. I just like little cute small things like this. Then I found these two together. So with mid-century, they're very clean, straight to the point lines. And so I was trying to find canisters and things with that in mind. These are definitely shelf decorations. I could put like cookies or something in here, just little snacks and stuff after I clean them out. And I always check the inside to make sure it's not too far gone. Or ooh, actually I didn't look in this one. I only looked in that one. That is very unlike me. Let me look in this one. Let's see what we're working with. This is $1.99 by the way, and this is $3.99. $1.99, $3.99. Again with the pricing. <laughs> Oh, and we're beautiful. That's like brand new. I'm thinking about painting these, but this one is very close to a plant color. So I really like this actually as is, but I'm debating. This one, I'm definitely going to paint. I mean, it's kind, it's from Home Goods actually. I don't know what, I mean, this is kind of an orange color now that it's in the light. It looked a little bit more brown to me, but now it looks a bit orange. Maybe I won't have to paint them. I don't know. But um, I possibly will paint this depending on how it looks on the actual shelf because I'm gonna have dark shelving. So if it makes it look kind of just a gross brown, I'm definitely gonna paint this. Then I got this little vase. Again, I checked the inside. The only problem with this face is that the paint is coming off. So this one I definitely wanna paint. I'm thinking I might paint this one white and then put like a plant in it. Um, what color should I paint this? Do you, what do you think? I, a lot of this I'm unsure and I really, really want your opinion. So please leave a comment down below if you have a good idea for anything that I'm showing. But it was $2.99. Let me know what you all think. Then I got this. It is a clear bottle with a little cork topper thing. I honestly think this is purely going to be for decor. I don't know. I have no idea what I would put in this. And it was only 50 cents, which again, 
with the pricing. It doesn't make any freaking sense. This was $2.99 and this is 50 cents. Who is doing the pricing? And the next thing was this really interesting thing that I came across. It's this little, what is it called? Not pottery. Um, Oh, ceramic. <laughs> it's this little ceramic piece. It was actually, it's genuine Indian made. Oh, it's it's so cool. I was thinking of maybe putting some soil in it and then putting a little succulent. Um, I just think it looks so cute. But if you have another idea, let me know. This is just some newspaper stuck in there because traditional media is dying and we now strictly use it to stuff items so that they don't break. Then I found these two canisters. This is back when I thought that, well, it's kind of mixed metal. These are kind of like coppery. They're originally $14.95. This is $14.95. This was $19.95 from Pier 1, and this they were both $2. And so this is from originally when I thought that my color scheme was gonna be something different, but I think since I'm doing mixed metal, if it works, I won't have to spray paint these or anything. Let me know, should I keep them the way they are? Should I spray paint them? What should I do? But for right now, they are housing, and actually in my new place, they will still house my tea. So I have my open teas in this one. And then I have my closed tees in that one. So I found this cute little mug. This is $1.99, but it's like this tin mug with the blue perimeter. And I was like, okay, this goes so cute with my colors. So I think obviously drinking tea out of this would be so cute. Aesthetically in pictures would be cute. On the shelf as decor or hanging on a little mug hanger would be cute. All of those things I've envisioned for this mug before I bought it. So I do love it. Again, it was $1.99. It was just a super cute, simple purchase, but I had to. Last but not least, I bought some frames. So this was the first frame I picked up. My parents went to Cuba and they actually brought me some newspaper from Cuba. So I was just trying out to see how I felt about the newspaper being in one of the frames. I'm thinking I'm going to paint probably all of my frames. I don't think I'm keeping the original wood to any of them. And then the next one, the next frame I got is this one. It's like a red brown wood, which I don't love. So definitely getting painted. Also, I don't remember how much this frame was, but this one was $2 and it actually has a really cool picture in there that kind of matches my theme pretty well. So I'm debating keeping that in there or if it doesn't match, my little gallery that I'm gonna have, then I'm probably gonna change it out. And then I have these two tiny ones. This one's definitely getting painted. It was kind of crazy, but it was only 50 cents and I liked the size of it and I liked that it'll have texture when I paint it. This is the last one. I'm gonna have to rip this off and then also press it up against the wall, but just cheap frames for a little gallery. You can just print out things yourself and things like that and just slip them in here and it's, it's gonna make a really cute gallery wall. Oh my God, okay, okay. So I completely forgot to include these, but this is such a huge piece that I have to include. I got these filing cabinets from Salvation Army. They had a four and a two. This four piece unit was $15 and then this two piece unit was five. Again with the pricing, dude, I don't freaking know. I was really happy with this, but the only problem I see is that there's rust up here and there's rust just there on the inside and I'm gonna have to sand that down. I'm thinking of refinishing both of these filing cabinets in the same color as my the wall that's in my new office. So whenever I find a paint color, it'll just match the wall. Once I've done that, I will attach a wooden, stained wooden piece to the top maybe. Um, what do you guys think? I think that could be really cool. Let me know what you think if you have any ideas for these. They're super, super cool. And I've kind of been dying to DIY some filing cabinets, so yeah. But that's everything I got for home decor at the thrift store. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm uploading weekly now, so go ahead and subscribe. Like if you like and subscribe if you want to. I always say that. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.